There we go. Anyway, this is just going to be like a like a physique <clears throat> update video. It's not going to be too well. I might do a little bit of talking, but the main part is going to be like a physique update because I'm cutting. So I want to see how the cut is going. Jesus Christ! One sec. Man. Oh my god. Yeah. So I haven't eaten since uh Yeah. Actually this thing is blocking out the wind really nicely. Anyways, I haven't eaten since like uh six thirty. Which I don't know. I recorded an intro at work and then I recorded in the gym. And then, uh, yeah, I just got distracted. It was back day. Actually, I guess I better check the back pump. I didn't do pull downs because Sunday I did back and chest and I really went crazy on some pull downs. So, uh, kind of given that, kind of given pull downs a break. Also, oh my God, I have hooks coming. Exciting. Um, Actually, you know what? Let me just turn my watch on. That way I can rah, see myself. I also looked. I had the belt off and I had the pants slightly lowered. Dude, my waist looked tiny. My shoulders looked friggin' huge. But, of course, the lighting, it's okay, but it's like, I'd be better off over here. <laughs> Actually, maybe I would be better off over here. Hold on. I know you can't really see me, but... <sighs> Dude, oh. I don't know why. Whenever I do that hard enough, I feel like all my organs go, like, in my throat. It's so weird. Uh, look at that. My arm is wider than me. Uh. Actually, Jesus Christ, my arm is... Um, my arm is, like, wider than me. What the hell? Anyway... Yeah, but no, today was supposed to be, maybe I should just grab a tripod, put it right here and just friggin' stand, because this is honestly pretty good lighting, but anyway, besides the point. I was going to say, I suppose I could always zoom in, but I, I can't with the camera like this. Anyway. I'm gonna go in the truck, man. It's freaking cold. Okay, I'm like super cold. But I also wanna get going, so in order to be uh, time effective, I'm walking out to the truck and I'm talking. There we go, anyways. So, first of all, I would discuss the lift, but you guys weren't even there. So, I'm not going to bother. What I will talk about is cutting. Because I've been wanting to record for a few days now. Where I just talk during like my morning cardio. Hey, morning cardio. Sound like such a nerd. Anyways. But, I haven't got... Well, I have got around to it. But, I get easily discouraged. Also... Not even also. I have like... I have almost 700 calories left to play with, so we'll see what I end up doing. I'm of the, oh no, anyways, there we go, oops, anyways, I'm of the thinking, here's what I'm going to do, maybe not, uh, anyways, yeah, maybe not tomorrow, because I have some school stuff in the morning, but anyways, maybe, actually, if anything, it should be tomorrow, but I don't know if that's possible. Yikes. Huh. But anyway. So. I, anyways, I have some school stuff, but whatever. Not uh, not a big deal. Doesn't matter. 
There is like a really direct glare going on right here. Does that help at all? No? Oops. Anyway. No, it really doesn't. Anyways, whatever. Deal with it, I guess. I'm trying to help. <laughs> but uh, maybe I'll move so I'm not in the glare. Whatever. Let's move you over. Pow. Anyways. Yeah, so, um, geez, let me just tell you what's up. <clears throat> so, the cut is going pretty well. I don't know why, but I... Again, people always are like, oh, when you cut, you're going to get depressed. and You're going to get, ah, whatever. That's not friggin' real, man. That's not, it's just people make up excuses because it's hard, you know? But anyway, I did record a few clips of me lifting. I might include those, but I think it was literally just, I just recorded myself doing pull-ups and uh, cable rows. I think that was it. But anyway, yeah. Um, no, but honestly, I occasionally have these thoughts and I mean, occasionally is in like once every four and a half hours, um, where I just think, what if I'm not ready in time? Like what if eight weeks or well, actually I started cutting my ears are like popping. It was like, what if I, what if nine and a half weeks wasn't enough time for me to, for me to start cutting, not in general. I mean like for me at my specific body fat and whatever else. What if that wasn't enough time to start cutting? What if this? What if, you know what I mean? I occasionally have these thoughts and they start to bother me. But then I look at other people who are the same amount of weeks out. And yeah, some of them are like better conditioned and whatever. But a lot of them are worse. Like a lot of them are, well, a lot of them don't even look like they work out, which is interesting. But a lot of them are like, kind of like skinny fat. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I was going to say skinny lean, but to say that I'm skinny would imply that I'm small. And although I feel small, I know factually that I'm not. Well, I guess it's really a subjective term, but anyways, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, down to, uh, 2,400 calories a day. I measured myself the other day and it said I was like five and a half percent body fat, which I think is, well, actually I don't know because like a lot of the times when I weigh myself, and even when I like look at, well, sorry, a lot of times when I look at myself in the mirror, and even when I weigh myself, I forget to do it, and then I remember. Why are my ears like that? I think I'm going. Oh no, it's these ear, it's these earmuffs or headphones. Sorry, they're like really good. They're almost too good. But anyways, yeah, because I think I got some temporary deafness. But whoops, yikes! They really uh. Anyways, besides point, um, weird, <laughs> but yeah, no, um, ah, oh, God damn, what was I saying? I don't even know, but it was, I'm at 2,400 calories. Oh, um, shit. Okay. I just, I just had to rewatch the last portions of that just to, to, uh, like remember where I was, where I was on, you know, but it was, yeah, sometimes I forget to weigh myself until after I eat. And even worse, I forget to like look at myself in the mirror and stuff. Cause you, you should do that occasionally, especially when you're cutting and especially when like details matter. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm also bad for not weighing myself every day. I'm, I'm going to do it. So I weigh myself every day before breakfast. So that way it's like, you know, it's like accurate of how much I actually weigh and not how much I weigh plus however, like however much I ate. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. So my watch, my watch is a, uh, fairly accurate. I must say, cause I've done like more, uh, like the doctor, doctor approved, whatever, um, uh, body fat percentage, calcul like calculator checker things, you know what I'm saying? And I did that. And then I did my watch. They were the same number. Well, within like within half a percent of the same number. So that's pretty freaky. So anyways, um, so this thing, again, you're supposed to measure on an empty stomach, uh, like right before breakfast, you're supposed to do it almost daily, which I have been doing. Um, and to your way, freaking, you know, whatever else it said, it was five and a half percent body fat, which I don't believe 
I don't believe that that part is accurate. I think I'm more honestly. Like again, I'll have to check because I have to look at the footage because I haven't eaten since like six thirty, and it's currently it's currently twelve thirty. So actually, it was before six thirty. It was like six o'clock. Actually, that's the last time I ate um, anything substantial. That is, and actually, it wasn't even substantial. It was literally like two Jello cups. That's not even. It wasn't even anything. It was like two Jello cups. That's it. But anyway, so yeah, I haven't eaten anything substantial pretty much all day. So. Yeah, fairly lean. Again, I'm going to get home and uh, check it again, like in a mirror, so I can actually see myself. Because, I mean, yeah. But in terms of what I think I'm at, I, I, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be surprised if I was around 10, 11% body fat. You know? I can definitely notice it in the shoulders and the chest. I will say that. And the arms. Like, especially the triceps and stuff. I haven't really checked out the legs much because I mean, I need a full length mirror for that and I don't exactly have one and it's kind of, it's, it's just difficult anyways, but I definitely noticed my, my triceps are starting to get way more vascular and they're also starting to get striations on the back, on the, uh, on the inside here, which is crazy. Um, and also I noticed today I took a picture of it. I'll probably put it in, I took it on Snapchat or whatever. Um, my shoulders, the veins in my shoulders are just going wild. Now, again, that's probably because I haven't really ate or drank a lot today. Well, I haven't really eaten anything today, but I know I haven't drank a lot either. So that's probably why, but you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so 2,400 calories a day. Uh, I was thinking about this today. I don't think it's going to be this week. I don't think it's, well, I know it's not going to be this week. Uh, probably not next week, but I think the week after I'm going to drop down to 2,200 calories a day and we'll see because I think I underestimate how much I do because you got to remember, right? I do cardio in the morning, right? Uh, I work, uh, like what is it? Nine and a half hours, nine hours, 10 hours, whatever it is. Uh, very active job. I mean, Jesus Christ, if I measured the amount of steps I get, um, I think I left my band or my watch on for a day and it was like, in the realms of like 20, 25,000 steps. So that's, that's substantial. Plus on top of whatever physical stuff I'm doing throughout the day, then I come to the gym for like two and a half, three hours, sometimes more if I'm feeling crazy or irresponsible workout, lift super heavy, super intense, sweat a bunch. It's gross. Burn a ton of calories there. So I think I, I think I underestimate how much I do in a day. Like I think I overestimate how many calories I need to cut because it's like, I'm thinking my maintenance is like 3,300 and I'm down to 2,400. So you do the math there. So I, I, one thing I will say though, I need to get smarter with way. I was watching, uh, Sam Selick posted a video today, which I mean, very coincidental that, uh, I mean, also very helpful. Jesus Christ that he's cutting at the same time because he posted a full day of eating. And I was like, oh, you already know I'm going to watch that. That and, um, now I used to watch a lot of, uh, Renaissance periodization when I was like just getting into working out and stuff. And actually more so in my first year since then, I've more or less stopped with like watching the science stuff. Now I just watch like uh, trend twins occasionally and just Sam Sulek and, uh, you know, whoever else, my buddy, uh, my buddy, Jeff, but anyways, um, so yeah, some good advice. He's got uh, videos on YouTube. I'm not going to link them because I'm not going to go and do the effort to do that because you know, I, then I have to, whatever, it's just too much hassle. Find him yourself. Plus if you do find him yourself, it'll lead you to a bunch of other great videos by him. And believe me, they're insanely awesome videos. Very knowledgeable guy. And he's not like a super nerd. Well, like he's a nerd in the way that like he understands. Like he's not a dumbass, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> like he's not he's not up there like trying to prove that he wasted like two hundred and twenty thousand dollars on a college education or a university education, whatever. He's not up there saying, Ooh, look at me, I'm educated. But deep down he actually regrets spending all that money because now he's got student loans, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Like, he's not one of those guys. Like, he's not there to waste your time. He's not there to, 
to uh, to flaunt his silly little uh, verbose um, like inventory of words. You know what I'm saying? Like he's not there to do, he's not there to confuse you. You know what I'm saying? Unlike friggin' Rye Jewers is a prime example of that. He's a super mega nerd. But I mean, just he talks faster than Eminem raps. He uses words that are way more complicated than anybody needs. Besides him. Like, no hate to the guy, but it's just, Jesus Christ, dude. Whatever. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just dumb. Whatever. But I just find all that... I just find all that extra vocabulary just unnecessary. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, Dr. Mike, he is cool. Renaissance periodization. He is awesome. I was watching, like... uh well, not watching. I was listening to while I was working. Uh, three or three or four of his videos today. I've been doing that more recently. Listening to videos while I'm working. So I can learn about like exercise science and stuff. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a science lifter. No, no, no. I'm not sitting there with my friggin' my paper, my notebook, and writing down and friggin' Uh, that was a two and a half R, uh, RIR. Uh, RPE eight and a half or RPE. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not sitting there like whatever, but it's always good to know like how your body works because if you, the, like the better you, under, sorry, the more you understand about your body and the better you understand how it works, basically the more jacked you can get. Like if I'm sitting here, I don't know my ass from my elbow. I don't know if like I'm doing a tricep pull down. I'm thinking this is working my forearm so much. Oh my God. This is my favorite. Like. You're sitting there going like this. You're like, this is my favorite forearm exercise. I love how this hits my my rear delts. Like, what are you talking about? So the knowledgeable lifter or just like the, the individual who's uh, actually going out of their way to try and better themselves, both here and here, well, they'll take the time out of the day to find out a few things about themselves. Am I about to get run up on? No, I'm not. Okay. I think, anyways. It very well could happen. I'm strapped. I got two unlight Jesus Christ, unlicensed guns in the car, or in the truck. Rah! Also got a knife. Anyways. Um, I got a cigarette lighter. I could friggin', I could burn somebody. Rah! Cigarette lighter. Rah. But anyways, uh, besides the point, Jesus Christ. Whew, might be a longer video than I thought. Yeah, uh, no, the more you know about your body, the better. Because, I mean, like, if you're sitting there and you're doing lap pull-downs, and you're like, everybody says, everybody says to do it this way. I'm going to do it this way. But it really feels like shit. And you're sitting there and you keep doing it and doing it, doing it. And you're experiencing no, no hypertrophy, no results, no nothing from it. You're not getting any stronger on that movement. Like, you're not getting any bigger because of that movement. And everybody... But, like, everybody's saying... Oh, my God, dude. This is the bomb. Like, it's clearly not the bomb, man. Well, not for you, anyways. Like... And this is a good example of it. Everybody's saying... Wide grip lat pulldowns are the best. They're the best. They're the most uh, lat-activating movement. Well, I don't know if that's true. But they're the most lat-activating pulldown movement. Whatever. Blah, 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 necessity. Everybody does them because they're awesome. And if you don't do them, you're stupid. Well, you know what? I did them for the longest time. I don't like them. And I eventually decided to uh, attain free will in terms of my training. And I was like, you know what? This sucks. And then I was on a single arm pull down tangent for a very long time. And then I was like, you know what? I want to try something else. There is footprints on my windshield. Okay. Those are my footprints. What the hell did I do in this truck? Besides point. Anyways, I'm that's a mystery for another day. But anyways, um, yeah. What was I gonna say? Like, okay, yeah, V-bar pull downs or close grip, whatever the hell you call them. Everybody's saying, well, I don't know if everybody, but I know people are saying nobody really talks about them. Everybody's saying wide grip, rah, that's the way to go. Dude, I tried wide grip, I tried narrow grip, I tried friggin'. Anything short of using a rope, which, why would you use a rope? That's stupid. That's weird. Unless you're doing pullovers, don't use a rope. Because it's that, what, you, you know what I mean. 
Then I tried Vibra pull-ons one day because I saw somebody else do them. And I'm like, hmm. And I'm not so egotistic or egotistical or whatever. I don't think it's egotistical. I think it's egotistic. I don't know. I'm not so ego and self-centric, you could say, to the point where I can't learn something from somebody, even if they're smaller. Now, I will get into this real quick before I continue. Learning something like visually from somebody that's smaller is a lot different than somebody who's smaller and has been working out for less for uh, for not as long telling you what to do. For example, if I'm sitting there and I'm doing my my whole tricep routine. Now, again, I say eight like eight to uh, eight circuits of the whole thing. It could be it's never more. It's I'm a with you. It's never more. It's a lot of volume. But sometimes it is less. So it's not always eight. But if I'm doing that, say I'm doing uh, six or seven of those circuits, whatever that day, somebody comes along and says, oh, no, keep in mind. Somebody comes along, third the size as I am, and working out an eighth of the amount of time that I have been working out. And they come along and say, hey, you're training your arms wrong. Now, listen, I wouldn't be a dick about it. I would, yeah, I'd very well take it into consideration if I... If I think it's good advice, but here's the deal. If your arms are 12 and a half inches and mine are, uh, Jesus Christ, I think, what are they now? I think they're like 17 and a half. They're almost 18, right? And you've been working out for a good three months and all you watch is friggin' Jeff Nippard videos and that's it. You haven't exposed yourself to other like forms of, uh, media, uh, what am I saying? Information. And you're telling me a third my size working out for like an eighth of the amount of time I've been working out. You're telling me I'm training my arms wrong. Well, I mean, you're a fool for two reasons. One, because you're saying this person did it. So anything else is wrong. So just that alone is saying that you're a cock and you don't have any free will or you don't have any, uh, I don't know. You have no desire to do things of your own free will, basically, because you think that, oh, I want to try something different. You're just the, you're a sheep in the herd, man. But anyway, and two, it's telling me that you're, uh, you don't use your common sense a bit because if you're a smaller guy telling a bigger guy, and again, I don't mean like a smaller guy, just a smaller guy. It also matters that they haven't been lifting for as long. That's a big part of it because if somebody has been lifting for the same uh, time as I have, but they're smaller, but like, or well, how am I going to say this? Whatever. I don't know. But if they've been lifting for the same amount of time, but they're smaller because they had a worse starting point and they've gotten to the point they're at, which in comparison to the progress I've made, it's like pound for pound strength. This is, this doesn't make any sense, but it was like their progress would be better compared to mine, even though I'm bigger. Like, you know what I mean? Then yeah, I would, I would lend an ear, but it's just, if somebody's if somebody's working out, whatever they go to the gym, like four days a week, not that that's a problem. I mean, you know, what anyways, they go to the gym like four days a week, whatever. They only work it out for like three months. Only watch Jeff, Nip- Jeff Nippard videos. And they're telling me I'm doing something wrong. It's like, dude, I have the results to prove it. I'm continually making consistent progress, doing things the way I'm doing them. Get get out of here, Pip Squeak. Get out of here. Ah, you don't belong here. Go over. Go over to the. Go over to the thirty minute workout section of the gym, nerd. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, thirty minute workout section is awesome. I will say that. But anyways, um, but yeah, like something like that is just stupid, man. But anyway. anyway. Back to what I was saying. I forget what I was saying. Uh, last I weighed myself was uh, what? Either yesterday or I think it was two days ago. I was 174.8. And that was before eating anything. That was before whatever. 174.8. I actually weighed myself this morning, but it was after I ate because I'm a dumbass. And I was like 176. Whereas before, and don't get me wrong, I was full, right? Whereas before, after I was like full and whatever, I'd be like 183, 184, 184, 185, maybe. So, I mean, that's good, man. If I'm full and I'm almost 10 pounds lighter, that's, that's, that's a good sign. So I'm losing weight, whatever. 
get more vascular. Uh, strength. Strength hasn't been uh, noticeably decreasing, although I'm sure once I get down to two, uh, 2,200 calories, I don't know about 2,000. Maybe. We'll have to see. But anyways, I know once I get down to 2,200 calories a day, it's going to be pretty interesting to see how I'm, how I'm doing. Because just yesterday, I did two plates for six. The only time I beat that was when I did two plates for seven. But that was when I had a spot. So, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I lost 10 pounds. My strength has actually gone up. It's weird. Okay. One thing I will say, though, before I go... Is that man? Where the hell did I? Oh, my headphones are in there. There was. I find for some reason, the chicks that like, you do check out. You're looking at them, right? And I'm, I don't mean like looking at them like. Eh, eh, what color socks are you wearing? Eh. Like I don't mean anything weird like that, but like. I find that like, you literally only see them once, and then you never see them again. And you're like, God damn it. And then you use that as your your workout. That, that's what drives you through your workouts for like the next three months. I'm going to shut up and go, dude. I got to stop talking. See ya.